At an altitude of 3,200 meters are the alpine meadows of Tangjiehe, the homeland of the Sichuan Takans. The global Takan population is in the thousands, with the majority found in China. In Tangjiehe live about 1,300 Sichuan Takans. The first-class state-protected animals are treasured no less than the giant panda. The autumn is imminent. As the meadow turns yellow, the herd embarks on a migration, heading for a warmer clime where the plants are tender and the water is clear. They're also seeking an essential element, salt. Salt is no less important than grass in sustaining their health and well-being. As they move down the hill, the Takans are barred by a rapid stream. But this is the only access to their destinations. Faced with the rushing waters, they exhibit admirable courage and boldness. For an adult Takan that usually weighs close to 300 kilograms, to wade through the torrents is still not an easy task. All these strenuous efforts are worth it in order to survive the winter when food is scarce. The grassland across the river is the winter habitat of the Takans. An earlier arrival means they can get an abundant food source, which is crucial for overwinter survival. In the daytime, the Takans hide in the bamboo forest and shrubs to rest. Only at dawn and dusk do they come out to seek for food. The search will not be over until they find another kind of food which is more important to them, salt. Carbonates are buried in the limestone and soil. The Takans have to dig the ground to get to the salt which not only can enhance their physique, but also has other significant value. In autumn, the seeds and fruits of the plants are getting ripe, but some of them contain toxins. After mistakenly eating such food, toxins can use the inorganic ions in natural salts to neutralize some of the toxins and keep themselves safe from harm. This habit of licking salts has earned the Takans a nickname, the Salt Eater. However, because of the limited sources available, the Takans have to fight frequently. Although looking clumsy, Talkins can, in the blink of an eye, snap a tree which is as thick as 10 centimeters in diameter. Such impressive power contrasts sharply with their awkward appearance. After a feast, the Talkins begin to play around. They have a special arrangement. The newborn calves are given to a couple of designated guardians who will play the role of babysitters in a kindergarten. In such a big family, the young ones will learn and play together. They will grow up safe and sound and become the future hope of the group. Excessive human activities have once threatened the Takan's existence Today, undisturbed by humans, the Takans can eventually stare into our eyes like this.